New tonight, Detroit City Council President Pro Tem George Cushingberry is finding himself yet again at the center of controversy. This time, a Facebook post sparking the anger of Detroit firefighters. Take a look. It says, the Detroit Fire Department is the best bed and breakfast place to work, especially for young people. Apply today. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live on Detroit's west side tonight. And Kim, what are the firefighters saying about this Facebook post? I stopped here at engine number 59 in Detroit and asked firefighters what they think about this post. And they said, you know what, we're on the clock and we're too busy responding to real fires to get involved in a virtual fire on Facebook. As soon as Detroit City Council President Pro Tem George Cushingberry's Facebook page posted, the Detroit Fire Department is the best bed and breakfast place to work, especially for young people, apply today. It sparked outrage. More than 100 comments on Facebook from around the country, like this one from a West Virginia fire captain, calling the city leader an idiot. Or this one that says, bed and breakfast, you can tell you have no idea how overworked and underpaid these men and women are. Tonight, working firefighters didn't want to add fuel to the Facebook fire, but the Detroit Firefighters Association president, who is off the job tonight, out of state, told me on the phone, it's insulting to men and women who risk their lives every day in tough circumstances. If you want to become part of one of the best fire departments um, in the country, then come be a Detroit firefighter. This isn't Cushingberry's only controversy. Detroit police allegedly found marijuana and an open container of alcohol in his vehicle during a traffic stop earlier this month. Cushingberry tonight, you could say, is trying to ease the heat. He commented on his post saying, quote, Cush has the DFD back. Now, I reached out to Mr. Cushingberry, and he responded on Facebook saying, you know what, this is all a big misunderstanding that a staff member just wanted to encourage people to become Detroit firefighters, but apparently the heat a little bit too intense. Take a look at this post just a short time ago on his Facebook page. Page is going offline until further notice. So, looks like... No, there's going to be a vacancy on Facebook when it comes to Cushing Perry's page. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Back to you. Now, Kimmy says one of his staff members posted that, so uh, will there be consequences for this staff member, or is he just trying to help out? I just got a message a short time ago on Facebook from either Cushing Perry or that staff member. They would not clarify, and they said that the person who was making the post no longer would be doing so. No word on if they're fired or just going to have other duties. Back All right, to you. It's always something, Kim. Thank you so very much for that report.